Good morning, everybody. Today's going to be a beautiful day. Do you want to go back to dreaming or do you want to go to actually creating your dreams? Today, we're going to talk about how to brainwash yourself for success. So if you're somebody who wants to be successful, if you're somebody who wants to create the life that you want to, I'm going to teach you actually how to brainwash yourself to be successful. Now, I understand the word brainwash has a very bad connotation, but when I start to actually describe what I mean by that, it'll make a whole lot of sense to you. And the reason why is because every single thing, every single thing that you hear, every single thing that you see, touch, feel, taste, all of those things are all brainwashing. They're all going into your brain through some form or another, whether that's something that you see or something that you hear, all of that stuff is going into your brain. Your brain is getting it in there. It's filtering it through. And then it's just storing all of the information is true. And so when you realize that every single bit of information, every single thing that comes into your awareness is brainwashing you, you start to realize, damn, maybe I should pay a lot more attention to the stuff that's coming into my awareness. Because ultimately the stuff that comes into my awareness is gonna dictate who I'm going to become therefore how successful I'm going to be. And so I'm going to give you guys a, a ton of questions and a ton of things that I want you to think about. And I'm going to go through different areas of your life and how to change them up and how to brainwash yourself to be successful. First thing I think about is every morning starts with your alarm going off, right? So how do you wake up? First thing to think about when your morning starts, how do you wake up? Do you wake up and hit the snooze button three times because you have to realize if you hit the snooze, think about the psychology of hitting the snooze button. You planned to wake up at, let's say 6 a.m. and your alarm goes off at 6 a.m. and you go, oh, I'm gonna wait till 10 more minutes at 6.10. Oh, I'm gonna wait for 10 more minutes at 6.20. Oh, I'm gonna wait for 10 more minutes at 6.30, right? You start your day off with a failure. Think about that psychologically. How you start your day is going to carry over to the rest of your days the rest of the day. So if you're starting your day off by hitting the snooze button, even if it's just once, do you see how you're actually starting your day off on your back foot? You're starting your day off with a failure versus a win. If you get up and you immediately turn that alarm off and you go to brush your teeth and you get up, you're starting your day off with a win versus starting your day off with a loss. So how do you start your day? Okay. Next thing, when you wake up, what are the feelings that you have as soon as you wake up? Is it you know, oh my God, I'm so grateful that I got another day. That's not, that's not very common with a lot of people. Or is it, oh, fuck, I just want to sleep some more. Think about that for a second, because that's also starting your day with a win or a loss. Do you start and you're like, oh my God, I just wish I could freaking sleep more, right? Or do you want to go back to dreaming or do you want to go to actually creating your dreams? That's the difference in the way that you wake up. So how do you wake up every single day? right? The next thing I think about as far as, you know, brainwash yourself to be successful is then what does your morning routine look like? Is your morning, do you, first off, number one, do you have a morning routine? You should always have a morning routine in some sort of way because that's how it starts your day. But if you, do you have a morning routine or not? If you do, is it planned or do you just kind of go into it and try to figure it out? Is it intentional? Do you go into your day with every, with every single bit of intention? Do you have it? Are you like, okay, you know, this is what I want to feel today. So therefore I'm going to go and I'm going to start my day this way. I want to feel joy and peace and calm today. So I'm going to start my day with 15 minutes of gratitude in my meditation and be grateful for every single thing that I have so that I get more of that, right? Do you start your day that way? Or do you start your day? Like just shit, I got to wake up. I got to take a shower. I got to get out of here real quick because I got to be at work in 20 minutes. How do you start your day? What does your morning routine look like? Also, another good question. Do you review your goals every single morning, right? Successful people review their goals often. So do you review your goals every single morning? What's your new year's resolution? Do you review your new year's resolutions every single morning? Do you review your monthly goals every single morning, right? Do you review your day? Do you have a plan where you take time every single day and you look at what your day is going to look like in the morning so that you can go into that day with intention? Think about that for a second. The way that you wake up matters. The first hour of your day matters. Are you going into it with intention and being proactive? Or are you going to it and being reactive? Are you looking at your phone immediately and getting sucked into Instagram and text messages and emails and phone calls? Or are you going, you know what? I'm going to focus on myself for the first 
hour of my day and I'm gonna plan on how I can just focus on myself and then I can go into emails and then I can go into text messages and getting the kids ready or whatever it is just you have going on. So what does the day look like for you when you start? If you wanna brainwash yourself from the very beginning, think about that. The way that you start your day, the way that you start every single day matters. Next thing, throughout your entire day, what are you filling your brain with? If you wanna brainwash yourself to be successful, shouldn't you be filling your brain with things that are going to make you successful? Shouldn't you be turning off the news? Because I guarantee you, if you wanna be successful, watching the news is gonna hold you back from doing that, right? So do you watch CNN or Fox News or MSNBC or CNBC or any of those things? Do you go straight into it or do you get your news from, you know, all of the crazy things that are happening around the world from Google or Yahoo or any of that stuff, I guarantee you this, if you're filling your brain with that stuff, you're not gonna wanna be freaking motivated to go and make an incredible day. So think about that. What are you filling your brain with? What are you filling your brain with from the moment that you wake up until the moment that you go to bed? Every single thing that you come in contact with on a daily basis, on an hourly basis, on a minute basis is brainwashing you in some sort of way. Are you in control of that brainwashing or is somebody else? in control of that brainwashing. Because there's brainwashing going on. Good thing is, you can control it if you really want to. Another question, what are you reading? The average CEO reads 60 books per year. That's over a book a week. Are you reading in the first place? If you just wanna be successful and you see, okay, if I just wanna be successful, I should probably follow the same steps of other successful people, right? That would make a whole lot of sense. So if that's the case and I realize, okay, CEOs tend to be successful. CEOs read 60 books per year. Maybe I should start reading more because at this point in time, I'm not even reading a book a year. Maybe I should just start reading more. Okay, what are you reading? Are you reading at all? First off, if the average CEO reads 60 books per year, realize they're not just reading 60 nonfiction books per year. They're reading books that are going to help them progress and get better. Are you reading nonfiction? Are you reading fiction? Are you reading business books? Are you reading self-help books? Are you reading books that are going to make you better? What are you reading? How are you doing that? Okay. What are you listening to throughout the day? Are you listening to music? What type of music are you listening to? I'll tell you this. This is something that you've probably heard me if you've been following me for years. My stance has changed a lot over the years. I love music. I'm a musician. I listen to all types of music, but I had this big awakening that music is just affirmations with melody behind it, right? So if you listen to some of the music that's out there, are these the things that I want to affirm into my life? This person that I'm listening to, do I want to affirm the stuff that they're saying into my life? Or am I looking and going, oh, I don't want to brainwash myself into believing what they're saying. Or are you going, I'm going to be intentional about what I'm listening to, the music that I'm listening to. Hey, maybe I'll just shut the music off and I'll listen to podcasts. Maybe I'll shut the music off and I'll listen to some inspirational stuff on YouTube. Maybe I'll just shut the music off and I'll be with my own thoughts all day long so that I can control what's going on inside of my brain. What are you listening to? What are you reading? What are you allowing into your brain? It's something to think about because most people don't pay as much attention to all of these little teeny tiny things. Okay, another really big one you've heard me talk about many times. Who are you surrounding yourself with? You've heard me say it over and over again. And the reason why is because it's so freaking important. You're the average of the five people that you spend the most time with. Who in the hell are you spending the most time with? Write it down with a pen and paper. Look at your top five and say, are these the people that are supporting my growth into who I want to be? Or are these people keeping me in place? Or are these people actually pulling me back into who, not, not, even, not even allowing me to progress into being the person I want to be? I say it all the time. If you hang out with five millionaires, you're gonna be the six. If you hang out with five alcoholics, you're gonna be the six. If you hang out with five really fit people, you're gonna be the six. If you hang out with five really overweight people, you're gonna be the six. You are the average of the five people that you spend the most time with. I guarantee you that. If you hang out with people that complain all the time, you're going to have a negative mindset. You're gonna be complaining inside of your own head. They do not help you and assist you into becoming who you want to be. So how do you brainwash yourself to be successful? You hang out with other people who are either successful or are on the same path as you working to get better every single day. So that makes it easier for you to become that way. When you look at your top five, this is one of the things that's super important. 
you should have three people, around three people, and this can change a little bit, but just this is very important to understand. Around three people who are in the same vicinity as you as far as success, happiness, the amount of money in their bank account, all of the stuff that you want, peace, joy, all of those things. Three people that are around the same as you, but they're also pushing themselves to get to where they want to be, which is also where you want to be. So it's not just like, you know, you make $50,000 a year and you hang out with three people who are also making $50,000 a year. It's more like you hang out with, you make 50 grand, they make 50 grand, but they want to make a million and you also want to make a million. So then you're all, you're all going towards, towards the same goal versus just staying in the exact same place. So you need three people that are around the same as you, but pushing themselves to be better, right? You want to have one person that's about two to four years in front of you. This could be somewhere you're like, all right, my business is at a hundred thousand dollars in the, a year. Okay. So I've got three friends that their businesses are doing around a hundred thousand dollars per year. And they're all trying to get better. I have one friend who's about two to four years ahead of me. He's doing about $500,000 a year. Okay. They're there because you can help them. They can help you. And they also show you what's next for you. So it's like the friend and the mentor, a little bit of a mentor that shows you what's next. They're a couple years ahead of you, two to four years ahead. It's important to have that person that's around you because it shows you what you're really close to. And that's inspiring to see. It makes you want to get better. But then you have another person. The last one is someone who is very far ahead of you. Someone who is 10 plus years ahead of you, right? Do you have friends? And you might say, well, I don't have anything in common with people that are 10 plus years older than me. Believe me, you have a lot more in common than you realize. I have some friends that are 10 and 20 years older than me, but we have a mutually beneficial relationship where I help them with certain things. They help me with certain things, but it shows me, okay, you know, this friend of mine is worth $150 million, which is way further ahead than me, but it shows me what's possible over the next 10 or 15 years if I continue down this path. So who are you surrounding yourself with? So three people around the same as you that are on the same path. One person, the fourth person, is going to be somebody who's about two to four years in front of you. And then one person is far ahead of you, 10, 15, 20 years ahead. That is literally like, this is who I could be if I just continue on this path. What's interesting is it's kind of like you learn through osmosis. They learn from you. You learn from, from them. And just they, you get to see how somebody that's far ahead of you and the, the standard that they hold themselves to. And naturally, you start to hold yourself to a higher standard and go, you know what? This person's amazing, but they're not out of reach. I could be in the exact same situation as them in two years, five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, if I just continue on this path. So who do you surround yourself with? Because if you're around people that are completely negative, they talk about being broke all the time, they talk shit about you. And every time you have a win, they knock it down or they poke holes in your win. The type of people who are like, oh, you won the lottery? Oh my God, you're gonna have to pay so much in taxes. Like we all know those types of people. Do you surround yourself with those types of people or the people who want to see you win? The people who are trying to help you win, right? So who do you surround yourself with? Because they're gonna brainwash you to either be successful or not be successful, okay? What else do we have to think about as far as success goes? What are you feeding your body? I talk about it all of the time. Whatever you put in your body is going to dictate whether you have enough energy throughout the day. If you're going to have a successful life, whatever success means to you, you're going to have to have the energy to create that successful life, aren't you? You're gonna to have to have the energy to create it. If you're eating greasy, crappy, shitty food that's bringing all of your energy down, and you need a nap in the middle of the day, or you need to drink three coffees in the middle of the day, you're not gonna have the energy to create the successful life that you want to. So what are you putting into your body that's food. And also what are you feeding yourself besides just food as far as mentally coming in every single day? Energy is going to either help you create the life that you want or lack of energy is going to hold you back from creating the life that you want. So if we're trying to brainwash ourselves to be successful, shouldn't we also pay attention to whatever putting into our body? Are you putting a bunch of sodas in your body every single day? So you get a big old spike in sugar and then it drops? Or are you drinking a lot of water? Are you drinking enough water? One of the things that's real crazy is I find that I drink probably about a gallon, half to two gallons every single day. I'm constantly peeing, which is, which is the funny part about always drinking so much freaking water, but I'm 70% water. So shouldn't I be putting in water to assist with that? They found that people are dehydrated. Their brains don't work as well. So if you're not drinking enough water, you're not even going to be thinking well enough. So it's not even just about crappy foods. It's, are you drinking enough water? Can you just drink enough water to have more energy? That's a crazy thing. 
How are you taking care of your body? Let's go to the next part. How are you taking care of it every single day? How are you, are you working out? Are you stretching or doing yoga? I mean, you have to realize, I understand that, that the majority of the time when we're working to create whatever it is we're trying to create, you're sitting down, you're sedentary, you're not doing a whole lot. And they found that the next, that what they call the next cancer is that people are always sitting and that ruins your body. So if nothing else, are you getting up and stretching every single hour? Are you taking the, the necessary the precautions to make sure that your body's going to be healthy? And you know, how often are you working out? How are you taking care of your body? How much alcohol do you drink? How much caffeine do you drink? How much water do you drink? What type of food are you putting into your body? Every single thing that you do on a daily basis is affecting you in either a positive way or a negative way. If you just think of it that way, everything that you do is either affecting you positively or negatively. So that goes down to the, the time that you wake up, if you hit the snooze button, what you got going on with your morning routine, the people that you surround yourself with, the stuff that you're reading, the stuff that you're listening to, the podcasts, the YouTubes, the Facebook, the if you're watching reality TV, you know, what you're putting into your body, the food that you have, the water that you have, the, the working out that you do, every single thing is either a positive or a negative for your body. So what you start asking yourself in the moment is right now, is this thing that I'm doing, is it a positive or a negative? Right now, this burger that I'm eating in the middle of the day, is this gonna help me? Is this a positive or a negative? Is this gonna take energy away from me? Is this gonna add energy to me for me to be able to progress and become more successful? Is this person that I'm hanging out with right now, are they going to affect me positively or are they going to, going to affect me negatively? If I sleep in today, is it going to affect me positively or is it going to affect me negatively? This music that I'm listening to, is it going to affect me positively or is it going to be affecting me negatively? Every single thing that you do, every single thing that you see, everything that you hear, everything that you taste, touch, feel, all of those things are brainwashing you in some sort of way. The problem is that most people don't realize this, so they don't take control of their quote unquote brainwashing. Brainwashing is not a negative connotation. It just means that everything that comes into your awareness is going to affect the actions that you do or do not take. So if we're being smart, shouldn't we say, okay, if I want to create the life that I want, if I want to do what I want to do, if I want the future that I want, shouldn't I be in control of my own brainwashing? The answer is yes, you should. But what it takes is it takes intention. It takes a plan and it takes awareness every single moment to ask yourself, is what I'm doing right now positively or negatively affecting me in the life that I'm trying to build and the success that I'm trying to have? If you ask yourself that moment to moment, you'll start to realize, you'll start to get away from the things that are not serving you, and you'll start to build up more things that are serving you to create the life that you want. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. If you want to learn even more about mastering your mind, click right here and watch this video as well. If you go back and look at some of the most successful people in the world, one of the things that you'll find among 95% of them is that they 